Hey guys, welcome back to the Easy Company channel. I'm gonna continue windowing and cleaning up this neck. So we're back. The final installment of windowing this neck. What, what's gonna happen now is literally I'm just gonna keep welding and filing it down and welding and filing it down until it looks like no one ever touched it. round of welding just to file it back down again. I'm using a combination of the Dynafile, the Mini DA, and the uh, die grinder here with a sanding disc. Um, it's taking as long as you would expect it to, brick by boring brick. So just for fun, I wanted to show you guys another way to find low spots when you're finishing metal. This is something called die cam. Die cam is a metal die that you can use to either lay out on a piece of metal, like scribe and lay out on a piece of metal you're about to machine. It's pretty useful in this case to show where all the low spots, all the red left after filing and sanding are low spots. This gives you a pretty good idea of where you have to fill with weld and file down. Along with windowing the neck, we're going to remove whatever's left of the original stock casting and leaving one mounting point for him to mount a gas tank. Okay, so while recording this video, I realized that Maybe I could have shortened these and, and made two videos. So if these are long and boring, I apologize. It'll only get better in time, I hope. I got the bulk of what was there out with the cutoff wheel and now I'm going to have to grind down the rest of it. So I've made it a little further along. I have this gone, this gone. Um, cops are outside. Uh, I have to get in a little bit more right here and grind down 
this piece right here, but most part it's all gone. Um, I have to fill this hole. I have to fill another hole that's up here and then sand it back down a little bit. And in the best interest of the customer, we decided we're not gonna powder coat the frame so I don't have to go and fill every single little pinhole and th that would be very time consuming and cost him a lot of money. So as a option, we went with painting the frame and bondoing any low spot or high spot and making it look all uniform. Uh, it's definitely the easy way out and depending on who you talk to, they're gonna say that I'm a cheater, but I'm all for looking out for the customer. So I'm gonna fill these holes and finish up the rest of this. So I welded up a few of the holes, one on this side also, and I spun this aluminum piece to slide in here. That way when I'm filling this hole, I don't actually fill the through hole of that. So just to fast forward a little bit, we're finally done. Um, we welded up what was left here, I welded in that, and now it's it's ready for Bondo and paint. Like I said before, we decided to go with Bondo and paint so that I wouldn't have to fill every imperfection and maybe lighten the load on the customer's wallet. Uh, I would love to go in and fill every imperfection, but that would take time and time is money, so this is what we ended up with. Um, I'd rather him be happy than him hate me for charging him a bunch of money. But um, if you want a windowed neck, please uh, come find us. So until next time, subscribe and see you later.